Hi guys! Today we're making this cute miniature sandcastle, along with a few accessories. For the sandcastle, I started by conditioning some grey clay and then pressing it flat. Then I used a craft blade to cut it into square. I then used my X-Acto knife to cut away the corners and an inverted circle shape. I also used a dotting tool to smooth it out. Roll out a snake of clay and cut a piece for each of the towers at the corners. Stick the towers in place and make a small dent at the top of each. This is to add dimension later. Make a slightly bigger tower for the center. Make kind of a fat cone shape to be the roof. Mark off and cut away some clay where the door and window is gonna go. This helps add dimension once we add the sand. I went for a very simple design for my sand castle. One, because that's the kind of castle I would build in real life. And second, a lot of detail would kind of get lost once we add the sand, so it wouldn't really pay off anyway. Once you're happy with the shape of your castle, bake it and let cool completely. Now we're gonna add the sand. You're gonna need some glue, I went for a quick drawing version. You're gonna need obviously some sand and something to spread your glue with. Now you're just gonna spread glue on the surfaces and sprinkle it with sand and let it dry. I started working from the top and down. After I finished adding the sand all over, I went back in with an extra layer on the top of the towers. As a final touch, I went in with some watered down black acrylic paint and a fine brush and defined the door a little bit. Finally, I added some matte glaze to seal it in. Now we're gonna make a little bucket to go with it. Roll out the snake of clay, a little bit thinner than you want your bucket to be. This is going to be the inside and we're going to build the bucket around it. Bake it and look cool. Then you can take some tinfoil 
and wrap this around the little snake piece we made as smoothly as you can. Now roll out some red clay and use this to form the bucket. Start with the circle for the bottom and a long rectangle to go all the way around the side. Add a strip of clay to the top edge and a poke a hole in each side. Roll out some blue clay for the handle, cut a thin strip and poke a hole in each end, then arrange it in a curve shape. Then the bucket pieces are ready for baking. To make a little scoop to go with it, I use some yellow clay. When you're happy with the scoop, bake it along with the bucket pieces. After baking, remove the inside from the bucket and then use the top of a few head pins to attach the handle. And there you go! Now you can make your own little miniature sandcastle. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! Leave me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more! Bye!